All right, Crafty Mathers, I can't wait to show you this next project. You will be using these tessellation templates to create tessellation art. And you can choose any of the templates. This is the one that I did with the hearts. And this is my favorite one. This is the one I did with the cats. Look at all those different cats. You're gonna get to make these too. And I can't wait to show you how. So you've been talking about tessellations at camp and now we're going to make our own tessellation design. With your template, you can choose the bird, the cat, the fish, or the heart. It doesn't matter which one you choose, they'll all turn into tessellations if you cut them out correctly and turn them. So I'm just going to do the heart. It is probably the simplest pattern. So if you're new to tessellations and you wanna try an easy one, do the heart first, but you can always go back and do the other ones later. So you're gonna cut carefully along the lines and you do wanna do it pretty carefully so that the shape is the same when you cut it out as it is on the template. That's important. So once you've cut that out, then you'll use your pencil and you can put it anywhere on the page that you want and you'll just begin tracing it. As you know, tessellations are a repeating geometric shape that you can fit together. So once you've done one, think about where and how you're going to fit the next one in. So I think I'll do one above. I hope that's right. They're a little bit like a puzzle. And I know you'll have to play with them a little bit because they can't just all stack. Because now I've got this shape and I can't fit that there. Do you see that? So maybe it goes like this. No, that won't fit. Or like this. I didn't include directions on how to make them tessellate. So you might have to try the one you're doing a few times. Because I think that the way I stacked it the first time wasn't the right way to make this tessellation work. Because that did work, but see, there's no way to make this fit, which means that this part needs to not be there. And when you make yours, if you're doing the fish or the cat or the bird, there's probably going to be some things that you need to do in order to figure out how to make it tessellate, just like I did. So for the heart, some of them are going to be upside down and some of them are going to be right side up. And that's how this tessellation pattern works. So once you figure out how it tessellates, a little like a puzzle, figuring out your shape, then you can just keep going. When you get to the end of a page like this, you'll just draw it as if the whole thing were going to continue on. Because that's part of what tessellations do is they go on and on. They don't have to ever stop. So you will just draw yours as if they were going to continue off of the page. And you can see that you can use your imagination to finish off the shape. There. So once you have your tessellating pattern, you're going to then go over the whole thing with Sharpie. So this project does take a few different steps. So now I'll do the Sharpie. The black permanent marker is great because when you use watercolor, which is the third step, it won't bleed off the paper. So we'll use our permanent marker and go over each heart. All right, so the next thing, if you notice that a lot of your lines like mine, I might not have done the Sharpie over the pencil in the exact same way, just do a quick erase. You can make those go away. So now I'm ready to get started on my painting. You can paint yours however you want. I'm just gonna go through all the colors. We've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, and black. We'll just start with a red one here. And you'll just paint, paint it in. It's okay if it's not perfect, nobody's perfect. This is my color choice, but of course you can do yours any way you want. You can do two colors or 10 colors or mix up all your colors, it's up to you.
I love the way this looks. So pretty, all the different colors, and you can see how the hearts tessellate. Each shape, each heart fits into the other one. And I have one more step. And here we go, I'm just finishing up. And there we go. I have my beautiful tessellation art piece. So I hope you have fun making yours. Mm -hmm.